We're going to show you today how to change the tail number in the APMs for the Citation Sovereign. First thing you need to do is have the operational software CD for the aircraft in your computer CD-ROM drive before getting started and having the aircraft completely powered on. Select the APM Settings Tool icon on your computer. This will open the APM Settings Tool window. Select the button with the three dots at the end of the definition file line. In the window that opens, use the drop down arrow to select your CD-ROM drive, then select the EPIC folder, phase 5.2, then select APM definition folder. Click on the settings.def file, then click on the open button. This will take you back to the first window, and now you will have a file path in the definition file line. Click on the open button on this window, and this will open another window. Click on the Get APM List button, and it will retrieve the APM settings from the aircraft. It is normal during this process for the screens to blank and other warnings to be sounding in the cockpit. Once it has retrieved the APM settings, the IP addresses will show up under the APMs. Using the drop down arrow, you will be able to see all four of the IP addresses. Select any one of the four and then click on the load from APM button. This will open another window which is page one of seven and the top line is the aircraft registration number. Type in the new tail number using uppercase letters only. Once you have the tail number entered, click on the next page button until you get to the last page. Then select the create and load binary file button. This will open another window. Use the drop down arrow to select where you would like to have a copy of the file written. This, is, this will be pointing at the CD in your computer, so it must be changed to somewhere that is writable, such as the desktop used in this example. Click on open and this will open another window that says enter DR file part number. You can enter the tail number, the date, or leave it blank. This is just a file name. After you have entered what you want, click the OK button. It will work for a moment and then a new window will open. It will list all four APMs and it will say load succeeded or failed after each IP address. If all four succeeded, then click OK and exit the program. If one or more failed, then record which one, one succeeded and click OK to exit. Restart from the beginning, only this time you will get the APMs, make sure you use one of the one of the APMs you recorded that succeeded. After getting all four succeeded, power down the aircraft for 30 seconds to one minute, then power back up. Wait for a minimum of 40 seconds after power up. If a configuration mismatch, mismatch message is posted, there was a problem and you will need to start over again. If no message, then close the programs and the process process has completed.